Hey everybody, Todd Metalhead Weatherman here. Hopefully everyone's doing well. So in this one, we're actually going to go ahead and talk about May here because we are getting closer and closer. We just passed the middle part of the month and with that, the new outlooks are going to start to come in as they have in this case here. And there are some interesting things that I've made note of after going over some of these outlooks here. For one, definitely seeing a signal for what's called a negative PNA for anyone that is newer to the channel a negative PNA is where we can expect cooler than average temperatures out towards the west and warmer than average temperatures out to the east definitely different from the positive PNA where we have the west being warmer than the east and while yes everything is showing above average temperatures for the most part a lot of that warm air is going to be out to the east here not to say that we can't have some cooler days out to the east as well in fact we'll see a few of those as we get towards the beginning of the month and then as we go towards the middle part that's when we'll start to transition into this a little bit more strongly but you can even see the above average temperatures even being featured here towards eastern parts of alaska as we go forward here the precipitation is showing an interesting deal as well as out towards the east we're increasingly active. This has pretty much been where the jet stream's at, and we're going to continue to see that trend be a thing. But out towards the southwest and far reaches of the northwest is where, we're con where we can expect that below average precipitation, even working its way into eastern parts of Alaska, maybe even southeastern parts. Interestingly enough, towards the west, we have the above average chance of precipitation here as well. And we'll get into the details as to why this will be for the most part we'll get a look at that jet stream in just a minute here we're going to go over the temperature and the precip charts over the course of the next few weeks here now this is a week by week run this is not showing what every day will be like but based off of what we can see here like i said you're going to clearly see the negative pna start to take shape here this is where we are in current time leading up to the 27th here have some cold air sh shifting into the east here in actually what's called a positive PNA right here. This is a great example of it. But we're at the waning phase of that. Now watch what happens as we go into the next week. Look at how quickly we change over. This is towards May 4th, and you can see it right here, clear as day. There is your negative PNA. Cool out towards the west, warm out to the east. This is also a pretty conducive setup for severe weather during this time of year as well with that cold air rushing in off the Rockies and the warm moist air coming in from the Gulf a little bit extra cool dry air coming in from the Canada classic setup here so can expect some severe weather some active times in the month of May here especially as we head into this particular week here there was a storm system that I was watching during this time frame of course with it being two weeks out don't have too much in the way of details on that just yet but if you want to see the early inklings of what would be a forecast go ahead and check the top right hand corner for the link here but as we go forward we continue to see a great example of a negative pna taking shape here eventually we do start to level out as we get towards the middle part of the month and that continues to progress as we get towards the end of the month and it's the start of june now keep in mind with us looking this far out at range you can't guarantee that this is exactly what we're going to look like. And then, of course, this is on a week to week average going to a monthly average. So what you see now can easily change. All it takes is one little kink in the upper levels of the atmosphere. And this forecast can almost even go down the drain, I would say. Looking at the precipitation outlook, areas of interest pretty much going to be pretty consistent for a large part of the month will be over towards the Midwest and occasionally the Deep South as well. The Midwest in particular has been a target area for severe weather and that is going to be a continuing trend as we get into the month. This is heading into that first week of May here and like I said, concentrated area precipitation over here in particular. A little bit drier towards the Southeast in particular and then also the Western half of the US, especially the West Coast gets a little bit of a break here. We had a really active win over here, so I'm sure this is pretty welcome for some of you guys here, or a lot of you, I should really say. 
and then as we get towards the following week here still seeing that consistency over towards the midwest and then as we continue to go forward it's pretty consistent leading into that last week of may where we start to kind of level out a little bit and then as we reset for june we're a little bit drier towards the southeast to start out with but i do see inklings of more moisture on the way so i don't know how long this will last though I wouldn't necessarily say that if you're in the yellow area that this will be a cause of concern for drought at this current time. Of course, as we know, things can evolve as time goes forward, but I think you'll still have a couple opportunities of some precipitation sprinkle in here and there on the boundaries between the precip areas and the dry areas here. So just because you're in the yellow or in the green, it's not the end of the world for you. That being said, let's go ahead and now take a look at our upper levels of the atmosphere. And the main thing that we're trying to look for here, it are these little blue areas here and these red circles as well. This is indicating areas of high and low pressure. Low pressure is the blue, of course, high pressure is in the red. And the particular areas that I look for are these oscillations that are going to be positioned one over towards the Arctic Circle and the other one over towards Greenland. Right now, we're kind of in the neutral phase with Greenland or the North Atlantic Oscillation, or NAO as we call it here. And then also, the we're in a negative AO phase where the pressure is going to be a little bit lower over here towards the Arctic Oscillation or the AO. Now, watch how things change as we go into that following week here. We've completely shifted to a positive AO and a negative NAO. So we could have a little bit of cold air to start out the month of May over here. This is going to quickly shift. And also notice if we go back to that previous frame over towards Alaska, you can actually see this area of low pressure. That's going to work its way over towards the west coast. And this is going to be exactly what causes our little cool down over here. Now as we continue to go forward, this cold air is going to stay in place for a few weeks here from the looks of it. And we're going to be kind of flip-flopping with this Arctic oscillation here. So we're going to see periods of warm air, maybe a little bit of cool air sneaking in here and there. But for the most part, I think it's going to be mostly warm to the east, hence why we had this outlook here. And then out towards the west, we're going to be cool to start out. But as time goes on, eventually we'll start to level out with the rest of the country. It's typical of what we deal with as we transition from spring into summer. Hard to believe that we're already getting close to that summer time frame there. But that being said here, just going to try to stay on our game here and keep this ball rolling. That being said, that's also the end of the video. I hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, you know what to do. Smash that like button, hit that subscribe button, obliterate that share button. Also, be sure to check out memberships if you're interested in more weather content. But that being said, keep an eye out for the severe weather. Plenty more to go. And then still June is a pretty active month as well. So again, stay tuned. Make sure you have that notification bell on. But until then... Tired Middlehead Weatherman signing off. Have a great rest of your day or evening.